What's up, what's up, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, bringing you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you guys the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. So what do you know about edits? You know, edits are important for anybody wanting to master peace control, build battling, and box fighting. You know, they can even help you guys outside of a fight as well. So what edits should you learn to become the best of the best? Well, without further ado, let's dive right in and learn some edits and how you can use them to take your game to the next level. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yeah, and let's get this going. All right, guys, so double and triple edits are an excellent way to train your speed. Because of this, we highly recommend you guys learn how to perform these synths so you can implement them into your daily training habits. Because you're performing multiple different edits all at once, it trains you to be faster with your reaction time. Performing one edit can really be difficult if you're just trying to get the hang of it, but in a competitive game of Fortnite, you're gonna wanna be expecting to really perform multiple edits all at once so you can just gain a tactical advantage or completely trap your opponent. You should focus on this while playing creative since you can just mess up as many times as you need to until you get it right. All right, so double and triple edits can really help you guys train your building mechanic. So uh, what about AIM? Visit AIM Lab today by clicking on the link below. You're gonna be able to try out a variety of fully customizable routines that can help you guys become a more faster and accurate shot. Don't let your opponents get away. Take them down with some proper AIM training. AIM Lab can really help you train your AIM in a variety of different games. So if you start making your opponents quit the game in frustration, you can always follow them whether they go play on Warzone or Apex Legends. Cone edits are important for peace control. All right, so we talked about this edit before, but let's do a run through once more. All right, so yeah, let's divide this section into two different scenarios since both types will have very different uses and benefits. Never underestimate the power of a well-placed cone. And once edited, it can really just put the heat on your opponent. All right, guys, so a simple cone can be excellent for building momentum in your slide. This can help you breach an enemy box easier. However, you can also quickly edit a cone into a ram to get on top of an opponent's box. This can be helpful if you want to give your opponent a harder time tracking you. You know, the multi-purpose of the cone is a great way of creating misdirection using your edits. A standard ramp can also serve the same function as an edited cone. However, it is just much more limited in this situation. You know, stairs can be edited. However, they usually only ever go up, right? Which means no matter how you edit it, once you play stairs, your opponent is just going to be anticipating that you want to get on top. So the good thing about a cone is editing, it could just really take you upwards, but it could also be left as is for sliding. Like if you really want to get tricky though, edit the cone, then click the reset button to instantly snap it back. Your opponent will expect you to try to go up, but this really gives you a chance to go around and start hitting their walls with your pickaxe. When you're not in a fight though, like, you know, you can still use the cone edit in a very useful way. If you want to catch players running from the storm, building a tower is a great way of getting the high ground and sniping them from above. However, you could consider, you know, dropping a cone edit on top. The funnel-like shape can be used to block fire coming from behind you while leaving a wide enough space for you just to fire down below on unsuspecting players. Placing a cone inside a build kind of just falls into a separate category. This time, you know, rather than just using cone edits outside a box, you could perform them indoors to tighten your opponent's play area unexpectedly or give yourself a way out. Indoor cone edits can also be useful for when your opponent is able to edit in a window and you need to cover fast. Due to the angle, it just makes the window they just opened a much smaller peak than intended. This can give you the extra bit of protection and time you need to really execute a larger escape plan or retaliation. You know, in a competitive game, guys, every extra second that you can buy yourself can really just tilt the game in your favor if you use that time wisely. All right, so we've talked about how cones make better stairs, but there must be some way to use actual stairs or ramps, right? Well, there is, and it essentially allows you to get two hits in while juggling your opponent helplessly around a box. For this to work, it all starts with the box invasion. All right, so you guys wanna make sure to bring down your opponent's wall, but make sure that you have space to really put in a ramp. Once the ramp is placed quickly, edit it into a staircase with railing. You know, if it all goes well, you're gonna land your first shot. If your opponent loses their cool, they might think it's a good idea to get on top of the stairs that you just placed. After all, like if you've taken damage like this once, it, like your first thought would be to really find safety behind cover while you figure out what to do. However, this is where you wanna outplay your opponent, man. You know, once they take the bait and get on top of the newly edited stairs, re-edit them. This is gonna cause the stair that you just placed to really switch positions from one side of the wall to the other. Of course, this also means your opponent will helplessly just be exposed and this is the perfect opportunity to land a second shot. You know, window editing is Fortnite 101. 
<laughs> like the window, will always allow you to get a peek into your opponent's box. In fact, this is one of the more common moves that you can do, and it's quite simple to pull off. It's only one square on a wall, and it can make all the difference. Once edited, make sure to take advantage of all your angles. This should give you protection while you lock onto your opponent and try to hit for some damage. You know, window edits work best when combined with other builds. You know, well-placed cone edit can like give you guys elevation as well as additional cover when you go in for those peaks. While this also makes the window somewhat smaller, like if you have good aim, then you can just still land your shots. Just make sure that you keep training your aim so that, you know, the usefulness of the window will scale with your skills as a marksman. Door edits are underrated, right? But, you know, they can actually provide some interesting usage. If you ever want to leave a box, you usually consider options such as breaking the wall or creating a lower hand peak to really crawl under. Sometimes you even use the cones like we suggested earlier to leave from the top. However, door edits offer an alternative. So doors are great because if you have auto open, it gives you guys a quick way to get out. However, unlike peak edits, you don't always announce that there is a wide open space that you intend to go through. So when using door edits, consider the visibility of your current box, like what material are you using? If you're using wood, you and the inside of your box won't have as much visual protection as other materials. Steel will provide the most stealth, right? Like our recommendation is to lay down brick since it has good health and it obscures just more but allows you some room to look beyond the wall as well. Now, edit a door on the side that your opponent isn't. This is a back door that you can use to leave without breaking any walls. If your opponent tries to come in through the door though, but you can use the door itself as cover, and the fact that you saw it open gives away your opponent's position and intentions. So if you guys want to learn an easy edit that can really help you guys get the feel for making edits in general, then you got to consider going for the peanut butter peak. This is going to require you to create an upper right hand peak, jumping and then landing the shot. If there's any downside to this type of peak, it's that some more advanced players might anticipate that you intend to jump once they see the edit get confirmed. However, if you try to move while jumping, you can land the shot and lower the chances of getting pre-fired. You know, movement is the key to all of this. However, there are more ways to use this edit as well. You know, if you want to supplement this edit then keep in mind guys the window edit we mentioned earlier and how you can combine it for some interesting results you know rather than just focusing on your shot happening after you jump up play against your opponent's expectations and reset the build your opponent will be aiming up expecting you to pop up any second but you know instead you, what you want to do is just reset the build and edit in a window now while your opponent is busy looking up like you can just hit them with that new heavy shotgun catching them by surprise all right so before we wrap up today don't forget to check out aim labs to start training your aim. You know, just start right now and you're gonna see yourself becoming the greatest sharpshooter Tilted Towers has ever seen. All right, guys, so now we got one more edit that we want to talk about. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the good old floor edit. Floor edits are good for the late game. Like, if you're tarping and manage to get high ground, then this can be the key to eliminating some players as well as getting a refresh. Keep an eye on players moving below you, okay? Uh, you can open up a patch on the floor to fire some shots into your opponent from above. The railing of this edit allows you to have some cover as you just pump bullets into the box beneath you. If you guys manage to get an elimination, you can also use your web slingers or the hard poon gun to just grapple equipment closer without losing high ground status. Once you're done bringing the refresh items you need, like you can continue on your way until the next opportunity rises. Bunch of Quest Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for today. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment. Let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, guys, stay grinding. Don't give up. Connect to my Instagram at your motivation guy. Believe in you guys. Keep going. Keep grinding. Peace.